we're back. Yes, it was parallel. Well, David, with uh, eight-letter words, nine-letter words, ten-point scores in the maths challenges, I mean, we have a frenzy of scoring. <laughs> it's frenzy of behaviour. There is a delirium in the studio. It's a great game, and that's why I thought, let's talk about uh, frenzy tonight. And, in fact, uh, two types of frenzy. One is Danish, and the other one is Malaysian. And the first, as you may have guessed, is berserk. And to go berserk links back to the Viking times, because uh, the Viking warriors were called berserkers. And it related to their uh, clothing. It was actually comes from bear shirt, and that's B E A R. They actually didn't go topless. They usually had on bear pelts or possibly wolf pelts as well, which would have looked pretty intimidating themselves. Very ferocious, and they were in that battle trance when they attacked. And uh, it's interesting that Sir Walter Scott is attributed as being the um, at least the English writer, or the, uh, I should say the British writer, to popularise the term uh, through his novels. And berserker turned into berserk very quickly. Now, the other one, coming from a Malaysian word, is to run or go amok, which literally means fighting furiously. This is, this is A-M-O-K. It can be that, or A-M-U-C-K. Um, because uh, both, was, are, both are all right. Both are OK, both listed and legit, as we <laughs> say. Um, but when the Portuguese and the Dutch uh, first tried to enter and colonise uh, Malaysia, Archipelago and Indonesia, uh, the indigenous people were a furious uh, opponents and uh, their fighting frenzy was called a muck by the local people and that's a word that in fact was adopted by another literary knight, Sir Rudyard Kipling. He popularised the word through his stories. So we have berserk and a muck, both from two very ferocious people um, and in uh, Australian terms, the closest I could think of is possibly in sporting terms and that's white line fever. Essentially, it applies to footballers. When you cross that white line, the boundary line, to play a game, you then become very focused in uh, your endeavour. But both terrific words. Well, that'll be frenzy of word information. Thank you, David. Pleasure. Let's have a look at those scores. Noeen, very strong leader at this point on 35 points as we head into our third letters game of the night. And uh, it's Veronica to choose. Thanks. Hi, Lily. Can I please have a consonant to start? Thanks, Veronica. Let's start with a D. And another consonant, please. Another D. Another consonant, please. L. And a vowel, please. E. Another vowel. I. Another vowel. A. A consonant, please. C. Uh, a consonant, please. N. And a consonant, please. And last letter, N. Thank you, Lily. Time starts now. Seven. Noeen? Uh, seven as well. All right, let's start with yours, Veronica. Dandled. And yours, Noeen? Uh, enlaced. Well, David, uh, two challenging words there. Yes, they were. Now, Veronica, can I just ask you how you spelt your word, please? Yes, D-A-N-D-L-E-D. -E oh, no. Mm, you just realised. Yep. <laughs> We've got two Ds, but not three. Uh, Sorry. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, we can't accept that because of the uh, lack of... Lack of a third D. And uh, the spelling of your word, please, the word. Uh, I-N-L-A-C-E-D. Inlaced. Only N laced, I'm afraid, Noe. So again, cannot accept it. One of those rare occasions where, in fact, neither contestant uh, scored. The word that I found that I quite um, enjoy is candled. C-A-N-D-L-E-D. -E now, how can candle be used as a verb? It actually applies to the examining of eggs. And if you hold up a, an egg towards a candle or a naked flame, you can judge its freshness, according to the dictionary at least. Thank you, David. So no score in that round for uh, either Noeen or Veronica. Let's move on to some more letters now. And uh, this time, Noeen, would you choose them, please? Thanks, Richard. Uh, Lily, can I get a vowel, please? Thanks, Noeen. Starting with E. Uh, another one, thanks. I. Uh, another vowel. O. Uh, and another one, please. E. Um, I'll get a consonant, thanks. H. Uh, another consonant, please. D. 
Um, and another one, please. T. Another consonant, thanks. R. Uh, one last consonant, thanks. And last letter, S. And here's the clock. How many for you this time? Um, I'll go with a seven, thanks. And what about you, uh, Veronica? Seven as well. OK. What, let's have yours first, Veronica, please. Dithers. And yours, Noeen? Hoisted. Hoisted? OK. Two lovely words there, David. Dithers and hoisted. Both great sevens. Well played. Um, I found a nine. You found a nine. Well done. <laughs> what was it, David? It's theorised. Um, T-H-E-O-R-I-S-E-D. Uh, it comes from the Greek, a lovely concept, theoria, which is... Contemplation. Um, a bit of contemplation paid off in this case. Excellent work. A nine for you, David. But on this occasion, seven points each for Noeen and Veronica. Well, after the excitement of David's nine, I think we should go for the numbers again for a little while. And uh, Veronica, would you make some choices? Thank you. Can I please have three large and three small numbers, Lily? Three large and three small. Thank you, Veronica. And starting with the smalls, eight, four, Ten and the three large, fifty, one hundred and seventy-five, and the target to reach, one hundred and fifty-five. Let's chase that target. How did you go? Just 154. One off the target. Now, Ian, your pen was down for a long time during that. Uh, how did you go? Yeah, I think I got 155. OK, right on the target. So take us through your method, please. Um, 100 plus 50, Lily, is 150. 100 plus 50 is 150. Uh, I'll put that away for a minute. Um, 8 divided by 4 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Add the 5 to the 150. And 150 plus 5 is 155. Very nicely done, Noreen. Absolutely on target. And uh, Lily, I saw you turn away from the board after only a very short time as well. You solved it quickly. Did you do it the same way? Exactly the same method. It is the best approach. So uh, well done, Noreen. Ten points in that round. Our scores now. Veronica on seven. Noreen, very strong. 52. We're heading for another break and another word mix for you. This one, acre tend. And the clue this time, movement of a horse and holding liquor. See you in a moment.